Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I decided that I was going to do a, a vlog as well as the other um, camera drone stuff that I've been doing. Uh, the reason for that is that, uh, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a guy who can just go out and buy new cameras or new drones, um, kind of like the other channels do or, or the channels that are sponsored. They have um, companies sending them stuff to try out. So I figured, you know, I'm like, I, I wonder what the percentage is of channels like that that get stuff um, and they do a review on it. Do they actually use it to its fullest capabilities or do they just like use it for a week and then give a review or do they use it for a couple days, give a review and then send it back to the company or give it away or whatever they do. I don't think that's, I don't think that's being honest. Um, so... I decided that I'm going to use the equipment that I have, and when I get new accessories or I get new stuff, I'll do do a review on it. But in the meantime, I figured I'd do a vlog, whether it be daily or weekly, um, just to kind of get the stuff that I have in my head out, and um, instead of talking to myself, I'll be talking to you guys. There are only, I think, two of the channels that I've subscribed to that I believe are completely honest and um they utilize the equipment that they have and that one of them is the everyday dad and uh the other one is the everything man that's kind of weird actually the everyday dad the everything man are the two channels that i subscribe to that i feel are giving honest opinions and are utilizing the equipment that they have they're not just bullshit artists out there going oh this is the greatest piece of equipment and and it being completely one-sided um, so I'm going to link those two um, channels in the description below so you can check those guys out. They're really good at what they do and they bring a little humor to it as well. All right, so my, my wife's family owns a campground in um, the northeast corner of Connecticut. And in the wintertime, we're, it's closed. So I, I like to come down every once in a while and make sure everything's all set and, um, you know, no trees have fallen and just making sure that everything's in order and we live the road we live on is a dead end and it goes right into the campground so when I see a car or a truck that I don't know that goes down the road I like to make sure that it's not um, doing anything funky in the campground um, you need a gate card to get into the campground um, so but you, that doesn't mean you can't just park and then walk into it and and um, kind of do what you want I guess so I'm at the campground now and I'm gonna go in and hopefully I won't get stuck in the ice and I'll be able to see if anybody is here or everything's okay so that's what I'm doing right now I gotta check myself in if I get stuck I'm gonna be pissed off maybe this isn't a good idea I am not going down right now. All right, I'm gonna drive in and see what happens. If I get stuck, I get stuck. All right, here we go. If I get stuck, this is going to suck. All right, let me turn around so you guys can see what I'm looking at. I'm just gonna take a quick drive through, see what happens. <laughs> Everything, everything uh, seemed okay at the campground. Nothing crazy going on. I want listen to this story. So this may sound weird, but it just it just dawned on me as I was driving through the campground. I had this dream last night, and in the dream was a guy who um, used to camp at the campground. He um, was one of the DJs, and he died last summer um late summer he he passed away unexpectedly nobody knew anything was wrong and, and um i think he was out mowing the lawn and had a heart attack and died horrible horrible thing but last night in my dream he was at his camper in the campground in the spring when everybody comes to set it up and clean and 
I, 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 I walked up or drove up or something and started talking to him and he said to me that he was packing up the camper and moving it to a different part of the campground so his wife could be closer to the people that she hangs out with since he's no longer there and they can kind of watch over the camper and then I don't know if I woke up or I you know my brain switched to a different dream but that was really it's just really weird anyways it's odd how your brain works isn't it all right guys so the adventure begins in Walmart just had to bring a, uh, a phone case back for my wife because it was the wrong color the Pelican case really nice case it's black but it was black apparently needs to be pink or teal or anything but black because I don't know I don't think it comes in anything but black but uh, I just brought that back so now the uh, the real adventure begins of shopping in Walmart I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try to put this on uh, I'm gonna speed this shopping trip up I should say so um, but if I see anything interesting I'll be sure to let you know can't wait to get out of this freaking store oh and I never get a shopping cart that doesn't have a freaking broken wheel so vibrate 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 it's absolutely annoying <laughs> I survived Walmart barely I don't know what's going on in that place there wasn't that many crazies in there today but it, it, I don't understand how for such a giant store there's like nothing on the shelves ever I come pretty much every Sunday to go shopping and it seems like when I get here you'd think that there would be food on the shelves but it's just it's hit or miss sometimes and uh, I was gonna get stuff to make sandwiches no the freaking deli line was like <clears throat> seven years long so scratch that i'm gonna go i'm gonna have to go now to another store to get deli meat so awesome times all right guys so i just went to that other supermarket uh, not the one that i talked about earlier to uh to get deli meat because walmart was out of control at the deli counter and let me tell you what, I found another supermarket that is really close to that Walmart and it might be my uh, my uh, my favorite spot to go now. It sounds absolutely ridiculous that I'm talking about going grocery shopping. Is that odd? It's just part of my daily life, I guess, you know? All right, part of the, part of the vlog, yo. All right, so uh, I am now heading home and uh, Gonna unload the groceries and and that's it man. See you on the next one. <laughs>